For Dino. And Kato. Life on the force is more play than work. Officer Derek Whitehead of the Waite Park Police Department explains that his canine companions are a vital part of their organization. Uh, dogs are a great law enforcement tool. Besides, it doesn't, instead of putting officers at risk to do places, the dogs will take care of some of that risk and do it and sometimes more efficiently because their nose is better and they'll be able to find things better in buildings and tracking and everything else. With just two dogs currently on staff, hours of monthly training go into getting them prepared for live action. We do obedience training with them, we do apprehension training, we'll do article searches, finding evidence on the ground, we'll do lock searches, we'll do building searches a lot, a lot of tracking with them, we'll lay out tracks in certain areas and then have the dog go find a tuck toy or a person with a, with a bite suit at the end of it. While bite suits are widely known for training, Sergeant Patrick Grossback says other devices are used to practice bite drills as well. This is called a barrel sleeve um, and this is used for training purposes and the reason it's used for training is it encompasses the whole arm so we have the hand is protected there's a, this part here is actually attached to a bar so you can hold on to it um, so you get a good grip on it and then this is reinforced in here so it provides a nice bite surface for the dogs so when they come up they can hold on to it now even though the dogs and the officers are both very well trained being on the other side of this pad is still kind of scary you ready for it i hope <laughs> And as any officer will tell you, the bond between them and their dog is something else. You get to spend time with the best partner in the world. They don't judge you. They just want to have fun and play. Reporting from Wade Park, Alex Swykowski, WJON News.